airport. OK, the ride to the airport returns well to normal for some customers relying on MARTA. The MARTA station at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, which has been undergoing renovations for more than a month, officially reopens. Liza Lucas standing by with a live look at all those upgrades that we are going to see on our commute. Liza, it really looks beautiful back there. Fresh and clean and shiny and new. Yes, great start for a Monday morning crash. And we've got a little bit of lull between trains right now, but I can confirm they are up and running once again. Marta promising a turnover of the six weeks when it came to that temporary closure and that first round of renovations. And again, now reopened to passengers this morning. The renovation work on the concourse and platform levels includes new flooring, replaced ceilings and lighting, plus infrastructure for a new elevator. We got a little behind the scenes, some of that footage that shows you right there. There. Now, during the six week temporary closure, travelers had the option to also use shuttles back and forth. And we had a chance to check in with some of those that were seeing the upgrades this morning, and they seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, I can't say it enough. I mean, I'm going to be excited to come, you know. I hope they fix the machines, though, too. I mean, they look really <laughs> nice, though, but this is like the flooring is beautiful. I mean, it's, I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, that was Joshua right there. He frequents the New York City subway, so he used that as a little comparison point for us this morning. But travelers did have the option to use MARTA provided bus shuttles during the temporary closure. MARTA telling 11 Alive that around seven to 9,000 passengers every day ended up using those shuttles. Keep in mind, they not only use them to travel to and from for travel for the airport, but also the workers who are going to and from um, every day to get to the airport. So as the station again reopens this morning, we're expecting to also touch base with MARTA officials and bring you some updated numbers as well as a look down by the platform. So we'll bring that to you on air and online as we get those images in. Back to you. All right, Liza, thanks a lot. Time now is 